A former Bedfordshire police constable faced an accelerated misconduct hearing recently after being found guilty at St Albans Magistrates Court of shoplifting. PC Sarah Bell was seen acting suspiciously by store detectives at Sainsbury's in Luton in March 2022, while she carried out self-scanning of goods at the tills. As she left the store, security confronted her and, upon examination of her goods, revealed that she had only scanned £44 worth, but had in her possession £222 worth. Following an investigation, it was found that she had committed similar offences. In April, as she appeared at St Albans Magistrates Court, she admitted three counts of theft from shop, for which she was slapped with a six-month conditional discharge in order to pay £150 in compensation. No doubt the court was lenient on her because most police are complaining of struggling recently, especially with people like Met Police Commissioner Mark Rowley, for example, making a fuss about police officers responding to a survey where 86% of those asked said they had financial concerns due to austerity and the so-called cost of living crisis. Personally, I'd call it the biggest theft from the public purse in history crisis. Results from the survey by the Met showed 27% of respondents admitted to missing meals when 8% admitted to using a food bank to support themselves. Personally, I say stop living beyond your means and go and arrest those who have stolen billions from the public over the past few years. You might get a bit of extra money in your pay packet that way. Anyway, I digress. Bedfordshire Police Chief Constable Trevor Rodenhurst, I mean Rodenhurst, said following the hearing that this is a clear case of dishonesty on three separate occasions. The most important value I expect my officer to uphold is honesty and integrity. This officer's actions have fallen far below this standard. There is no room in my force for an officer who exhibits this behaviour regardless of their personal circumstances. Sarah Bell, of course, had already resigned from the force before her hearing, which was to determine whether she had breached the standards of professional behaviour in relation to discreditable conduct and honesty and integrity which of course they found that she had and said that she would have been dismissed had she not already resigned. Now there doesn't appear to be a mention of her being added to the College of Policing's barred list, so it is quite possible that although she's been theoretically dismissed from Bedfordshire Police, she could go and get a job in another police force. 